God, I love it so funny that now like the tables are like kind of far apart. They like they go they walk miles to fist bump. <laughs> go back to the old venue. <laughs> All right. Um, we are getting into it. Riggs versus Proton. Link versus uh me Gunner. Now this is kind of a you know projectile battle, and there is actually so much when you have two good projectile players. There's so much to deconstruct with how they play, how they place everything. And one thing is that, like, if you think about the way that these two characters approach projectiles, Me Gunner has great movement options when it comes to using uh, the projectiles. Of course, the forward air and just overall pretty decent mobility. Uh, whereas Link has, like, angle supremacy. The fact that he can attack or send projectiles from all of these awkward positions. So I think it's going to be really curious to see sort of... Uh, who's gonna catch whom? Uh, but there's always one thing that's continuous throughout Smash, and that is being stuck on the ledge stinks. Doesn't matter if you're a projectile character or whatever. Oh, and he catches him with the two hits of that up smash. Riggs taking the first stock, looking pretty good right now. Especially considering that Me Gunner still kind of struggles to finish off stocks. Of course, Proton has played this character for so long, he's adapted to the fact that, you know, character doesn't necessarily have any great finishes. That is another thing worth mentioning. Me Gunner does have that reflector. Although I will say that I haven't seen... Proton's been using it quite a bit, but it hasn't gotten a huge amount of mileage. I think there was even one point where uh, Riggs threw a bomb and just in front of him and managed to get uh, uh, the explosion off. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he reads the air dodge that... Charge on the forward smash is enough. I was saying how, you know, the gunner doesn't really have finishers. Link certainly does. Able to end that stock at 60. And now this is looking really grim. Oh, I thought he was going to go for an up beat. I thought he was going to do some crazy stuff. But uh, showing a little bit of restraint right there. Instead takes the safe route. Now he's back on stage. 147%. This is... Definitely he's at risk of dying, but Me Gunner, not every option the character has will even kill even now. You see that uh, Proton is going for that up tilt. The up tilt will definitely be enough to finish it. And a charge shot will do the same. Proton's in a pretty good, in a pretty rough position right now. He's trapped on the ledge. He's taken 86. Oh, I love the bomb edge guard. And this is something that Link definitely has over Me Gunner. The option coverage, the fact that he has a sword, there's, the ledge trapping is just so good for this character. Proton's going to have to really make that disadvantage work, and he just can't at this point. That's going to be game one for Riggs. Ooh, I could use a tall glass of water right now. I got you. Ah, bless you. All right, can I have game two? I believe he picked town and city. Yes, he did. <coughs> now, in terms of this stage, I'm wondering what exact advantage is. I, hmm, I mean, there is going to be more room to move around. I was talking about the mobility aspect that Proton can use in his character, but we didn't really see it that last game. Pokemon Stadium might be a pretty big stage, but it felt that uh, Riggs was just closing him off, keeping him in the corner constantly. Oh, but yeah, this is a different story than what we saw last time. The projectile game, Proton keeping his distance, and he's able to do that a lot more effectively this time. That was what I was talking about before, though, that the bomb, even when it's reflected, it can be blown up. But I think overall, Proton is just doing a much, much better job with this, uh, playing a long-range game. Oh, but once he gets in, that could be big. I like that. Just throw the bomb away. He want, like Proton want, likes that spot on stage and just gets rid of the bomb so he doesn't have to worry about it ruining, you know, where he wants to be. Okay. I'm loving these B-reverses. The slick movement from Proton. This is definitely what was missing that game one. And this time around, it's 
working well, really well for him. Oh, that bomb's right next to him. He gets the up tilt. That's going to be stock one for Proton. And now we're going to see what one of the things that makes Pro... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was about to go into how he plays with a lead really well, but uh, just a great answer from Riggs, taking the stock immediately. And now all of that work that Proton had done, you know, getting Link up to 145 and finishing with the up tilt, that was pretty much undone by a forward tilt up ledge. Like, what was that, 80 before the hit? And now, okay, now it's actually looking a little bit more similar to game one where Proton feels trapped in the corner. I like that. All right, just taking his distance and still managing to avoid the boomerang on top. Great awareness of where he needs to be and where he needs to avoid. This juggle is continuing, managing to get more and more damage, 114%. He's off stage. I love the Nair to contest the projectile. He gets on stage and turns it around with a back throw, but um, Proton's disadvantage this time around is significantly better. Up smash out of shield actually does it. Proton is pretty much an entire full stock up. And forward tilt that ledge won't kill him now, so maybe we'll get to see that Proton playing with a lead that I was talking about before. And look at the micro spacing when mode Proton is right inside of his range, but we know that Riggs is a fantastic player, and maybe he should, he could try to push his advantage a little bit more. It feels like Proton is just retreating back to the center stage pretty easily. All right, a back throw going to be putting him off stage. He is the one trapped in the corner. A great way to get out there, though. Fantastic parry reacting to that pretty slow neutral air. Goes down with a... Oh, my God, that was so cool. The option coverage from that. Going down with a nair, and the lag on it is non-existent. He actually managed to throw out an upbeat before the... Uh, before Proton could actually get back to stage. And this is actually deceptively scary for Proton. He's throwing out that up tilt. He doesn't want to, the kind of more damage isn't what Proton needs. He just needs that finishing blow. Oh, but 56%, there are ways, especially in an edge guard situation that uh, Riggs can finish off a stock. Tom goes in for the up tilt. It's actually still not enough. Maybe that damage was necessary, but a down tilt will finish it. What ended up being a really close game there. Wow. And game three is on the table as we move into it. I think that uh, when it comes in terms of counter pick, that bigger stage really helped out Proton. So if you're Riggs and you're getting ready to counter pick, I think that... Uh, going for a smaller stage, possibly Battlefield or um, Battlefield Unova or Yoshi's. Oh, Smashville 2, a uh, bit of a smaller stage. And also, because remember how before I mentioned that the angles from Link are really good, the way that he can throw projectiles, angle boomerang, throw arrows out at specific heights, just directions with the bomb. Three, that middle two, platform one. isn't so much of a problem for him in terms of, you know, throwing things out and walling out Proton if he gets, if uh, Riggs manages to get the lead. Oh, he read that directional air dodge, but couldn't quite get the follow through on it. And yeah, the way that he's going up to that top platform, this stage counter pick was so smart. Now instead of having to deal with running through Proton at a, in a straight line, he can retreat to the top platform there and find a better angle of attack. Ooh, but Proton adjusting to the stage as well. The way that he's just sort of completely denying the horizontal part of it. <gasps> and the love tap from the bomb is enough to do him in Proton. A, that edge guard is huge. Stage has been working out pretty well for Riggs so far, but Proton keeping his cool head about him realizes that he just can keep racking in damage the same way he's been doing. And given that slower nature of the matchup, that Link isn't exactly a rushdown character. Wow, that forward smash still didn't do it. But Proton can uh, get charge shots pretty freely. Or whatever the Mii Gunner equivalent of charge shot is. Ooh. 
Dan, that, I was talking, that's another one of those link angles. The fact that Boomerang connected and he was still able to avoid the uh, missile that was coming his way. But this game is actually pretty even, especially considering that at that really early stock that Riggs managed to get. He has no jump off stage. Great job. That He was actually doing a lot of jumping off from ledge and Proton adapting and adjusting, starting to catch it with the up air. And even if he, even if uh, Riggs adapts his gameplay to that, now that's another option that he has to second guess himself on ledge. Oh, the return of the boomerang and great capitalization from Riggs. There's no, oh man, that was such a good bait. Recognizing how much lag he had and sort of understanding that Riggs, unfamiliar with the matchup, probably wouldn't know. Went for that risky forward smash. And oh no, the air dodge passed the ledge. And since Link's fastball is faster than normal, he couldn't really do anything. That might be curtains for Riggs, but we've seen him come back from worse. And he's managed to, this game has been, the set have, the sets have been super even, so absolutely can still do it. I don't know if he has a jump, though. Okay, he does. Now he doesn't, though. Great job with the neutral air. Once again, beating at that charge shot, keeping his options available. And the bomb going to be closing out Proton's last stock. This is last stock between these guys. Okay. We're starting to go for the slower projectile game once more, and that's Definitely the uh, what Riggs should be going for. He might be able to get some early percent combos, but right now he wants to maybe bridge the gap between them and getting chip damage with a arrow or a boomerang here or there. Oh my god. And is the charge shot enough? It is. Proton manages to take the set after getting handed pretty well uh, that game one. So great stuff to him. He's going to be moving on in bracket. Sans costume or not. We